I'd like to start off the video by saying I don't recommend anyone start doing something like this. Please conduct your own research on it if you'd like to try and do something like it because it does have a great potential to be dangerous. Also, if you haven't already, please check out my previous video where I show step-by-step -step process of how I prepared the LSA extraction so this video will make more sense. This video will be split into three parts. Part one, I'll show you how to take the LSA for the best effects. Part two, I will show you clips of me at certain timestamps explaining what I'm seeing and how I feel. And the last part will be a summary or conclusion on how my trip was and whether or not I'd do it again. From the last video, which is linked in the description, I showed how to prepare the LSA extraction from the Hawaiian baby wood row seeds. The total amount of time I left the extraction in the fridge ended up being 24 hours. This should have been more than enough time to extract all of the LSA from the seeds. There are still a couple of steps left before I actually consume the LSA, which I will show right now. What you'll need is a sifting fabric, such as a coffee strainer if you have one, and another small container you can pour the liquid into. It is possible to just use the liquid as it is right now, however, the leftover seed residue is what'll cause you stomach pain, which you don't want. Now what most people don't understand is that it isn't as simple as just drinking this and then you trip. Nope, just like how you have to hold an LSD tab on your tongue, you have to hold this LSA in your mouth for a while. Before you do this though, there are two things that'll make it a much more pleasant experience. Ginger and juice. Chop up small pieces of ginger root into the container and let it sit for about 30 minutes. Strain it into another small container and then add your favorite fruit juice. The ginger will take away from the nauseating feeling while the fruit juice will help the liquid taste better. Neither of these steps are actually vital, but they are highly recommended. Okay, now it's time for the part you've been waiting for. You'll want to make sure beforehand that the amount of liquid isn't too plentiful as it will have to fit all in your mouth. Pause. While you're holding it in your mouth, make sure there's something you can do such as play a game that will make time fly by faster. You'll want to keep it in for at least 10 minutes but your time to aim for should be at least 30 minutes or longer if you can. Make sure from time to time you can swish it around like mouthwash to really make sure you're getting everything. All right, so this is me straight after I swallowed it and um, I don't feel anything yet, obviously, but um, I'll check back in maybe 30 minutes and see how I'm doing. Okay, so now it's been 30 minutes and the only thing that I'm starting to I guess feel I, I guess is um I feel a little bit colder like my neck and uh, my whole body it's just it just feels a little bit colder than usual nothing too serious but it's just something I've noticed so right now still don't feel anything crazy but um everything is a little bit more it just seems different there's no way to describe it it's just maybe feel a little bit fuzzy in the vision and like when I move it doesn't it's, it's a different type of movement you feel now colors just seem a little bit more vibrant they're not exactly like glowing or like sticking out way too much but it is a little bit of it a little bit of a difference I don't know what I just said um, and it's like when you're looking at something, like focusing on something, everything else like around it is just like foggy, but the thing you're focusing on, it, it, it comes out, you know, it, it sticks out in detail. All right. So before I really wasn't feeling the effects too much, but now, like, I, I think I can really feel it like in my arms it just feels like fuzzy and every every time I move it's just like it feels different you know like a tingly feeling that's how I describe it just a tingly feeling it seems like when you sit down it fades away a little bit like you don't notice the feeling as much but when you stand up you know you get the feeling again it's kind of weird. Uh, I just decided to go for a walk and um, I think it's wearing off. I don't really feel much anymore. I mean, I still feel it, the tingliness, but it's not 
as apparent as it used to be. I think it's like the come down of the high. So now it's been 16 hours total, came back from my walk and took a short nap. The effects have definitely worn out and now I'm here to say whether or not I'd do it again. Yes, I probably would do it again, but probably only with a friend. I can't lie, this was definitely a fun experience that I'm glad I at least tried out. However, personally, I'm not really a big person when it comes to these types of things. It's for sure fun being high, but when it's all said and done and you're sober again, it feels to me like a wasted day. So if I had to rate my overall experience, I'd say a solid 7 out of 10. It isn't really a happiness type of drug, it's more of a, oh, this is different kind of thing. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button because it would help out a lot. Also, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and tell me what types of videos you'd like to see me do next.